Hey guys, today we're going to talk about AI and Maximo and how AI can be leveraged within the Maximo application suite, uh, where we are today, where we could be over the next few years, and, and how do we get there? AI is rooted in two things, data and algorithms. The algorithms have to work with the type of data that you're feeding into it. And you have to have good data in order to get good output from the algorithms. When we look in the world of Maximo, uh, right off the bat, there within the Maximo applications, we we have a we have two areas where we're able to leverage AI very quickly today. Uh, one is within the visual inspection arena, and the other one is within the predict side. Both of these are still rooted in data. They're not magically fi figuring things out from nothing. And they're working with the data we provide and with our knowledge of how things work and giving them some information of what that relationship or that algorithm looks like. On the visual inspection side, uh, it's pretty cool, pretty powerful. You take an iPhone, you take a bunch of pictures of something that is done correctly, and then we set up an algorithm representing what we're looking for, and the system will then allow us to take pictures of that same type of object and it will start detecting imperfections. So the visual inspection and that's using AI. Uh, IBM has a, a demo lab at the University of South Carolina where they actually have a bumper from Volvo. Volvo actually uses this and a series of cameras will take a picture of that bumper as if it were rolling off the production line and it will point out all of the imperfections. It will tell you the size and then based upon your metrics, it will tell you whether or not it passes inspection for to move on to a customer or if it needs to be repaired, repainted, whatever the process is. And these are imperfections that are near impossible to detect with the human eye. And you'd be holding something up, trying to get it in the right light, and it's basically instantaneous. So there's a real cost savings there, not only in that it eliminates a lot of human effort, it eliminates bad product being shipped and then all of the labor it takes to fix that once it's into the customer's hands. The other example is on the predict side. And just like visual inspection, predict relies on core data, and some algorithms. And on the predictive side, we are able to take history of maintenance on a given asset or a class of assets. Then based upon what that history looks like, we can have the software predict for us when the next failure is going to occur. Now, the more data we give it, the better data we give it, the better the predictive results are. So, one of the challenges that we see with our customers day in and day out is that our historical data is often insufficient. It doesn't have the granular level of detail we would like. Uh, over the years, we've been collecting the fact that work was done. We probably know what asset was worked on, but far too often, we don't know that the, the spare parts that were used. Spare parts will often tell us the type of work that was performed and the type of failure that occurred. But if we don't record those parts, the next best thing we would have is a very specific failure code. It failed. This was the failure. Unfortunately, again, most customers have not adopted that. And leveraging the data without that type of information and looking for a predictive answer on when something's going to fail next, you're really looking at purely a time-based assessment, a best guess. Now, don't get me wrong. That's better than not knowing. Okay, but it's not really getting us into the narrow window we want. So what does this really mean? As I said, you know, there's what we can do today and what we'll be able to do over the next few years. What we're seeing as our customers move from the traditional Maximo asset management into the application suite, people are moving heavily to capturing better data. One of the ways they do that is starting off with a an assessment, a business value assessment. Where's my best return going to be? And one of the things we see time and time again come out of that is mobilize your workforce with full power of Maximo in their hand. What that allows them to do is record that very specific detail that will help them the next time they're out there doing a repair and will help the enterprise overall predict when that next failure 
might occur. So generating better data is at the core of that. That's going to start paying dividends quickly. As we start tracking things like those spare parts, then we can identify, hey, uh, spare parts from vendor A didn't last as long as spare parts from vendor B. That's very helpful to know. Uh, we can start determining how many we actually need on hand. What do we really use? So there are a lot of benefits in establishing the data that will help us get predictive. The side effect is in the, on the journey to predictive, we are going to see a more efficient labor force. We're going to see more asset uptime. We're going to see more production uptime. We're going to see more efficient production. We're going to see a higher quality of product produced, and we're going to see less on-hand inventory per work order completed. Huge benefit all the way around. Love to hear your thoughts on that. Love to see your comments. Let's talk.